When Act 89 was passed, there were only 600 electric vehicles on the road. Now there's close to 2,000. But experts say an EV charging infrastructure isn't in place to support additional growth. There are some clear areas um, on Oahu and even worse on the neighbor islands where there really is going to be places where you just cannot charge. And as long as those gaps form, then electric vehicles aren't um, as strong as the alternatives they could be. Act 89 was supposed to address that. Hawaii News Now called the state energy office for clarification on the law, but got no clear answers. Do you, uh, you like your leaf? Instead, we were directed to State Senator Mike Gabbard. We are number one in the country per capita for charging stations. We have uh, currently 350 uh, charging stations all across the state. But Senator Gabbard admits there aren't as many as there should be because there are no penalties for companies that ignore the law. And when we start back in January, I'm on the Transportation Committee, and I want to talk with my colleagues about putting some teeth into the law. Sources say enforcement was an issue from the beginning, but lawmakers hoped companies would comply on their own. I'm hoping that my colleagues uh, in the legislature will also see this as uh, by tweaking the, the, the existing law and adding those enforcement uh, issues, that that'll take care of it. Even without clear penalties in place, local company Volta says that's still no excuse. We actually provide our charging stations to the property for free. We also pay for the full installation of the project and we give away the free service to the drivers. Mileka Lincoln, Hawaii News Now.